super, super glowy. Today, I just wanted to show you new things that I have picked up very recently from Sephora that are new releases. These Pat McGrath Labs blushes, sexy. There is blush and then there is blush, like, wow. Uh, Cherish is the pink shade here. Look at that, how buttery and smooth that is. Just love the formula of these. I think I need every single one of them. I think they're like $38. So look at that. Just absolutely stunning. <laughs> Stunning. Absolutely love. I tried this the other day, the Huda Beauty Glow Obsessions. It's like a highlighter palette. And honestly, it's not my jam. It is very subtle. And I mean, I guess for me, if I am going to wear a highlighter, I want to be able to see it from outer space. That's just the life that I live. Then I finally picked up the Too Faced Teddy Bear Bronzer. I feel like I had wanted this bronzer for a month or something, maybe even two months. I am not actually going to use this bronzer. I, at least not right now. Sorry to shatter all your hopes and dreams. Look at how stinking adorable that is. But I have to show you the skirt. Here, let me just stand on here. Yeah, there you go. Isn't that just adorable and sexy? It's so stretchy and amazing. So good job, Abercrombie. I think I should do another try on haul, probably for that. So stay tuned. That'll be coming soon. But yeah, back to this highlighter palette from Huda Beauty. I just wasn't impressed by it. I do like the pink shades. I tried the other two, the lighter shades here on the left, but I put this one on and whoa, <laughs> common and hot. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's nice. What do we think? It is very glowy. I will give it to this pink one. It's really nice in Seattle. I hope that wherever you guys are that you can get outside and enjoy some <laughs> also picked up the Anastasia brow freeze brow styling wax I just got the shade clear I don't actually think that there's any shades <laughs> maybe there's a tinted one I don't 
but I don't have much to say about it yet since it is literally the first time I put it on. I used the Urban Decay Brow Blade Pencil and Ink Stain. I really like the ink stain for kind of making the arch or right there that area up here is where i had my brows microbladed about five years ago and i need a touch up but you know it's just at that stage where i have to draw some of it in so i am excited to try this a little bit more the <laughs> Chloe, Danessa Myrick's Illuminating Veil. That is what I spread all over my face at the uh, very beginning there. It got a little weird. I looked like the Tin Woman, kind of, maybe, didn't I? A little, it's okay, we can be honest. I am sweating. This is just absolutely stunning. And I love the silver. Of course, I've made a mess of it. These Pat McGrath Lab blushes just launched. So there, I believe there's seven shades and I am going to get more. But holy crap, these are absolutely beautiful blushes. I am in love. Definitely look at my last upload and I do still have a giveaway going on on my channel. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I just thought I would turn my Sephora haul items into kind of like a first impression and tell you my initial reaction and thoughts and opinions about them. So I love you guys. I hope that you are doing well and staying healthy and just kind of getting back to life. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram. That's where I keep you updated, or at least I try my absolute best to keep everything flowing, but it's a lot. And I'm not really on TikTok. I mean, I have one, it's the same as my Snapchat and Twitter and TikTok and Instagram, Seattle MUA Renee. It's just, yeah, that's my name everywhere else. So I love you guys. And hopefully next time I'm sitting here, I'm not sweating like a cow, like a pig. Is it a pig or a cow? Also this bucket hat from Abercrombie. I had to have it. It's that gingham plaid. Just so cute. Love it. Make sure to check out my other videos while you're here. You might find a giveaway posted a few weeks ago. And I love you and I will see you in my next video.